We took our boy to kindergarten. They called to tell us he was hyperactive, as if we didn't know that. Is that news to any parent that has a hyperactive child? Your boy's hyper? No. <laughs> Little lad is so calm at home. <laughs> Could be the new environment. You don't have dust mites there, do you? First day we took him to kindergarten, we're walking through the parking lot. There were parents holding their little children, weeping with them in the parking lot. Tammy and I were skipping through the parking lot. <laughs> we're going to get a nap, baby. We're going to get a nap, finally. We're going to get some shut-eye. Five years without a night of sleep, we're going to get some sleep. <laughs> some perky woman came over. We'll have so much fun, and we're sure you will. <laughs> you'll excuse us, we're going to go buy our first answering machine. Call me prescient, but I felt I'd be screening calls between 8 and 3 for the rest of my natural life. <laughs> Principal calls me at home. Your boy won't sit in his chair. He's disrupting the whole class. We don't know what to do. I'll open the back door and let him loose. That's what we do at home. <laughs> He'll come back when he's tired. He always does. And check his hair for ticks. He crawls through the shrubbery quite a bit. <laughs> it's kindergarten. What's he going to miss? Coloring? I thought he'd catch up. Tension Deficit Hyperactive Disorder. I like that. It's polite. It's medical. Let's face it, 50 years ago when I was bouncing off the great school walls in America, they didn't have a name for it, did they? I was OLP. Obnoxious little punk. <laughs> My third grade teacher, Miss Stokesbury, headbutted me. Twice. <laughs> you don't make that up. And you don't forget it. She was so frustrated with me, she was shaking me against the locker. And she was overweight, her cheeks were vibrating like jello. And I'm sorry to, to a nine year old boy that's actually funny. So I couldn't stop laughing. She finally goes, Laugh at me, you obnoxious little punk. And she goes, Pow! Wow, that hurt. Then I said, If you stop vibrating, Jellator, I'll stop laughing. Boy, was that the wrong thing to say to Miss Stokesbury. Jello, what? Pow! When my son was eight or nine, they said, we need to put him on Ritalin. I said, what's Ritalin? They said, it's an amphetamine. That's when I dropped the Legos I was playing with. <laughs> what? Based on my family's history of alcohol and drug abuse, yeah, let's get the kid on the crank as soon as possible. <laughs> Trust me when I tell you, if that son of mine had one chromosome for my side of the family, he'd have been 11 going, you know, Dad, I don't think the five milligrams are doing it for me anymore. <laughs> I can't seem to focus on math. A lot of numbers in math. One, two, five, seven, eight. Well, you don't have to have a lot of numbers. I, I think we go to t t t two a day. Two, 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 ten, 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 ten. Two, two, two a day. Two, 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 two. So we passed on the crank, and we let him go through school all natural, the way God created him. And eight years later, the Army gave him an M16. I love this country. <laughs> That's right. He served six years with the 101st Airborne and did one tour of Iraq, and we praise God for his safe return and his uh, service to our nation. Thank you. Thank you for your applause. Not every group I work for applauds our military. I had a guy grab me in the hall once after a show years ago. He goes, how'd that happen? I go, what do you mean? How'd your boy wind up in the military? You didn't hear? Dick Cheney broke in our house and stole him right out from underneath us. <laughs> That whole volunteer army thing, another government lie. <laughs> Dick Cheney, I love it. Every time he'd come on TV, my wife would look at me and go, hey. He just looks mean. Hey. What do you have, 40 heart attacks? It's like every time he has a heart attack, he goes, not now. You know. So he got out of the army, he comes back, he says to me, he goes, can I move home? I go, absolutely. He goes, I said, what do you, what do you need? He says, I need to reacclimate to civilian life. And I said, that's great. Take all the time you need, man. You've earned it. Well, 19 months into the acclimating process, my wife says, uh, how long does it take? I go, I don't know. I never had to acclimate. She says, find out. So I go downstairs and I said to him, how long does it take? Did the army teach you a skill? Something you could uh, maybe get employment? He said, I don't know, I can kill you six ways with a popsicle stick. I said, enjoy your video games, my man. Let your mom and I know when you're done acclimating. It was the food. 
I was ready to build a trough to feed this kid. Tammy and I started hiding food in our bedroom to keep it from him. How sad and pathetic is that? We had a stash of brownies and muffins next to our bed. We'd go in our room late at night and lock the bedroom door. He may have thought we were doing something else, but we were just under the covers eating brownies and laughing at him. You hit 50, your life gets pathetic. It really does. The brownies are here. Hold hands, run down the hall. Lock the door, hurry. He'll smell them and want one, run. It's about all we do in bed anymore anyway is eat. We've got one of those select comfort beds. You familiar with that? Each side of the bed has a number. Higher the number, the harder the bed. My number's 100, marble slab. Tammy's number's two. First night she laid on her side of the bed, she literally disappeared from view. Mattress wrapped around her like a flour tortilla. Woman was sleeping in a fajita on her side of the bed. I rolled over to kiss her goodnight. I fell into a ditch. I couldn't get out. Well, Laner, get off of me. What are you doing over here? Get off of me. By the way, if you're a newlywed, that's the sound of 27 years of love right there. What are you doing? Get over there. You're on my hair. You haven't shaved. Your breath smells. Go. It's not that we don't try to be romantic after 27 years. It's just that we save it for special holidays. Tammy's favorite's leap year. I'll dim the lights and put on Sade, and she'll go, has it been four years already? No, we try. We just remember how much time and energy it actually takes, and we'd rather watch Law & Order. She falls asleep at 9.15 every night. 9.15. At 9.10, I'll look at her on the couch just like a gas leak goes off in the living room. Just... Hey, sweetheart, maybe you should go to bed. No, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> what are you, a five-year-old? Quit fighting it. Go to bed. Shut up. This is my favorite show. <laughs> Poor woman's seen the beginning of every Law & Order for five seasons. Now they come out and rerun, and she gets angry. I've seen this one. I'll give it 20 minutes. Could open up a whole new world of law for you, baby.